So we're here in the Lady Manor in the Donald where I grew up, just in this house here. Um, so me and my dad used to always play football in the street, so this is all where it started. And my mum had a friend called Elaine who was at a girls club called Northland Raiders, um, who trained at Cumber Leisure Centre and she advised us to bring me. So my mum and dad brought me and I loved it and I was training with like the senior women when I was like eight, it was crazy. So we're at Billy Neal um, playing fields. This is where I played a lot of my youth football. It's a, quite a special place for me because this is where the foundations of my career were built. Um, a load of the dirty work was done here. Um, I played here as a kid for Dungoyne um, when I was no age after Linfield. So um, the stuff that I did here and the work that I put in here on these pitches um, helped me in the past year especially. It's great to have um, this folder full of memories from football, obviously one of the main highlights being um, coming up through the Northern Ireland ranks, coming through the counties at, um, with Stevie, Stevie Graham and now looking near the end of the folder, um, being at Senior International and it's cool because it's only 17 years of stuff, um, so hopefully a lot more years are to come. Yeah, the last year for me has been really special. Um, starting off with the Under-19 Championships, um, getting called in late, Alfie taking a risk and bringing me in a couple of weeks before the tournament started. Playing all three games there was incredible. Walking out at Windsor in front of, what, 4,000 people. It was just incredible. And then a couple of months later, making my senior debut um, in Slovakia in a 3-1 win, playing 80 minutes or something. Like, it's just what dreams are made of, really. Um, score my first international goal as well in Turkey. Like the past year has just been incredible and it's such an honour and a privilege to put on the green shirt all the time. The, looking back on the last year it's been incredible but um, I know it's only the start of hopefully something very special. Um, um, we have a great setup and loads of youth players coming through um, and also we have a great team already so we're hoping that we can achieve and we think that we can achieve um, something very special in the near future. So for me personally, a dream of mine is always to be a professional footballer, um, not having to work and doing what I love all the time. Yeah, that would be my dream, but whether that's in the plan or not, I don't know. But at the minute for me, it's just focusing on doing what I do correct and doing it right um, and doing everything with excellence.